Hi everyone, welcome back to this month's edition of our Book Talks for Adults. My name is Shelby at the Agnes Robinson Waterloo Public Library, and today I'm going to give you five brand new recommendations of some new books that are just hitting the shelves as we speak. But first, I want to wish you a happy April and a happy National Library Week. As you probably are aware, libraries provide communities with free enriching resources like books, internet access, computers, and so much more. The best way to support your library this week and all year round is to simply use it, whether it's by checking out one of the books that I am going to recommend today or by looking into the many other resources your library thoughtfully curates for your community. If you really care about your local library, another great way to support it and make sure it continues to thrive is by reaching out to your local community leaders and elected officials, letting them know that funding your library is super important to you. So without further ado, let's go ahead and recommend five books that you can check out from your library today. For fans of William Kent Kruger, I present to you Raft of Stars by Andrew J. Graff. When two hard scrabble young boys think they've committed a crime, they flee into the north woods of Wisconsin, where they find their way onto a raft. The natural terrors of the Irons Forge Gorge threaten to overwhelm them. Four adults track the boys into the forest, including a mother, a grandfather, a gas station attendant, and a sheriff. As we hike closer and closer to the edge of the gorge, we can't help but wonder if the adults will find the boys and themselves. If you like books about the Midwest, nature stories, you will probably enjoy Raft of Stars by Andrew J. Graff. Okay. Let's hop from Wisconsin down to present-day Miami, Florida with Of Women and Salt by Gabriela Garcia. Jeanette is the daughter of a Cuban immigrant. She's also battling an addiction and is determined to learn more about her family history. Steadfast in this quest, she travels to Cuba to see her grandmother and reckon with past family secrets. This journey takes us from cigar factories to detention centers, telling the true stories of the Cuban diaspora through its mothers and daughters. If you enjoyed Dominicana by Angie Cruz, I recommend Of Women in Salt by Gabriela Garcia. Breakout by Paul Heron is a heart-pounding thriller for fans of Lee Child. It blends natural disaster and crime fiction, culminating in a dangerous chance at survival. Hurricane Anna, a superstorm made up of two Category 5 hurricanes, is wreaking havoc along the eastern seaboard. When it hits, the correctional officers at the Raven Hill Maximum Security Prison flee, leaving the inmates to fend for themselves. These inmates include Jack Constantine, an ex-cop, who teams up with the one correctional officer who hasn't abandoned the prison, Kiera Sawyer. Can this ex-cop and CO escape the prison before the building fills with water? That is Breakout by Paul Heron. Okay, today we are going to learn a new word, call, C-A-U-L. A call is the membrane enclosed around the fetus. Keeping that in mind, my next pick is Call Baby by Morgan Jerkins. It's a family saga with a sprinkle of magic about Layla, who desperately wants to become a mother, but each of her pregnancies end in heartbreak. She is desperate and turns to a powerful Harlem family and tries to acquire a piece of their call, a precious layer of skin that's the secret source of their healing power. Her acquisition of the call falls through, and she experiences yet another stillbirth. What she doesn't know is that her niece, Amara, will soon deliver a baby into the family named Hallow. Now, Hallow is special. She's born with the call, and it is believed that she will restore the family's prosperity. In this saga, we hear from this family of women, including Layla, Amara, and Hallow, each looking for a familial connection. That is Call Baby by Morgan Jerkins. Science fiction meets thriller meets speculative fiction in Hummingbird Salamander by Jeff Vandermeer, author of Annihilation and the Southern Reach Trilogy, if you've read those. This ecological mystery is about a dark conspiracy, endangered species, and the possible end of all things. I'm just going to read the summary on the flap because... I can't even make this up. It is 
very strange and is going to be a very good book. Okay. The security consultant, Jane Smith, receives an envelope with a key to a storage unit that holds a taxidermied hummingbird and clues leading her to a taxidermied salamander. Sylvina, the dead woman who left the note, was a reputed eco-terrorist and the daughter of an Argentine industrialist. By taking the hummingbird from the storage unit, Jane sets in motion a series of events that quickly spiral beyond her control. I couldn't have described that better myself. Jeff Vandermeer is known for his slightly bizarre ecological mysteries that will definitely leave you wanting more. So if you need something completely different in your reading life, I recommend Hummingbird Salamander by Jeff Vandermeer. Alrighty, those are my five thrilling picks. I hope you find something that sparked your interest and that will cause you to go support your local library to check them out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next month. Bye!